We'll take that. That was my Brachypoma bomi. Mexican fire leg who was not interested in eating uh, last time I had uh, offered he or she food. So, this time, as you saw, very willingly took the food. Sorry about the noise back there, my cockatiels being obnoxious. But as I've mentioned uh, before, brackies are my favorite. Uh, this is my favorite brackie. Excuse me for just one moment. Back to our regularly scheduled program. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, this is my uh, Brachypalma Bomi Mexican Fire Leg, and is my favorite Brachy of all of the Brachies. Um, I just love the colors on this one. Uh, these aren't as handleable as, say, your Biabapalosum or your B. Smithy. Um, but uh, they're very fascinating to watch. They're a little more on the skittish side. But uh, yeah, I don't know if you heard this with my cockatiel being annoying in the background. Um, this one uh, denied food uh, last time I offered. Uh, but as you saw in the video, this one very willingly took it this time. So I'm very happy you are enjoying that, sweetie. <laughs> just a half inch sling getting close to an inch next molt definitely isn't he or she beautiful the lighting doesn't do it justice alright let me uh, put the lid back on this one so he or she can enjoy the meal in peace I offered food to my Nandu Caraponosis earlier, but uh, it was denied again, so I'm pretty sure that one is in pre-molt. Um, <clears throat> I think my Nandu Colorado Velosis was uh, camera shy this time, so I just left the cricket in there. Didn't feature that one on a video. Uh, this is my Phonopalma Simani, Costa Rican Zebra. It likes to burrow. So let's see if I could kind of get he or she out in the open where we could see and let's see if we'll have a good takedown and there we go. <clears throat> Crickets are smarter than you think. They play dead. Well, sorry folks, uh, guess we're not getting much out of this, so, well, there's an update anyway, and in case you're wondering how I silenced the birds that were being obnoxious in the background, I simply just threw a cassette tape in that general direction, not obviously at the birds themselves, but just in that general direction and the sound of the falling tape hitting furniture uh, startled them so they're quiet now so yes that's my little secret but it works huh 
All right, well, <laughs> I'll put the lid back on this one. And let's see if we could get a sweet attack with another one. That was pretty lame, wasn't it? <laughs> Can't win them all. <sighs> well, let's see if the uh, Lassiodora Perhabana will enlighten us. I'm running out of... Uh, Hmm. Well, this is actually my last uh, cricket, so I won't be able to feed my other ones. I'm on video right now until I get some new ones. Lysiodora Parabana, Salmon Pink Bird Eater. This is one I hope will grow rapidly. Now look, the cricket's not this way. It's behind you. You're uh, stalking in the wrong direction. And of course, the cricket had to be difficult. And go under the leaf there. Oh well, I'm beginning to question whether I should even post this video. <laughs> Maybe if you're bored you can watch this, uh, although it might make you more bored. There you are, you stupid cricket. No, you're not stupid. That's how you were able to escape. That and the uh, tarantula not being interested. <laughs> I tell you, I can't win. Well, at least we got the bee bomey. All right, so much for that. All right, folks, well, I don't think my Jenna Colada is going to eat either because it denied food the last couple of times, and I do think it's in pre molt so I will not feature that one. Unfortunately, the Thrixopalma ocarty and the uh, Heteroscodra maculata is going to have to wait because I'm out of cricket, uh, pinhead crickets, and and uh, so we're just gonna have to live with that. All right. Well, I'll see if I can get my bigger teas and see if they'll be interested in my medium to large crickets and superworms. All right. Sorry. Thanks. Bye.